in this session we will discuss locus and its equations we will start from very uh, basics of the chapter you are again welcome in trustee classes to start anything it's very necessary to learn about all the basics related to that subject or that chapter so we will start with definition of locus what is called locus you can note down the definition the locus or graph of point is the curve or the path traced by the point traced by the point moving under given condition or conditions there may be one condition or maybe several conditions just understand again definition of locus because this is the very basic thing which you have to understand very well the locus or graph of a point is the curve or the path traced by the point moving under given condition or conditions all the conditions given in the question have to be satisfied then you will get the required equation of locus for example suppose there is a point p there is a point p which moves in a plane such that its distance from the x axis is always equal to c this is the given condition that there is a point p which moves in a plane such that its distance from the x axis is always equal to c that means any time you will get that the point is at a distance which is fixed c will be there from the x axis this is the x axis and this is your y axis so this is the origin this point is o origin now suppose a point p is there it moves in such a direction or in such on such a line that that every time it is at a distance c from the x axis suppose this is a, here this distance from x axis is c here it is also c because it is parallel to x axis so ab is parallel to x axis the distance between this line ab and x axis is c so if any point moves along this line it will always be at a distance c from the x axis that means this condition is satisfied so this becomes the locus of the point p in this case isn't it you can see the definition definition says the same the locus or graph of point is the curve or the path traced by the moving by the point moving under given conditions so in this case point p has satisfied the condition 
that it remains always at a distance c from x axis because it moves on the line ab okay now let us see second example what the condition is given here let a b be the two fixed points in a plane and point p moves in a plane such that its distance from these two points a and b are equal so the distance is always equal means suppose this is the figure this point p given a and b two points are given in the question that two fixed points a and b are two fixed points and p moves in such a direction such a direction or such a in such a condition that its distance from these two points is always same suppose at this time this point p is here so distance ap and bp are equal suppose this is here any time it is here point p is here what will happen then the distance from point p to b that is pb here you can say it p1 and from this p1 to a p1 a p1 a equal to p1 b likewise any p2 suppose here then this p2 a and p2 b will be the same now it's very easy you need not to get confused let you can repeat the condition let a b be the two fixed points in a plane and point p moves in a plane such that its distances from these two points a and b are equal okay this is the figure you can make exercise of this also therefore the locus of point p which remains at equal distances from a and b is the perpendicular bisector of the segment ab this is segment ab and this is perpendicular bisector of ab you can write it as here o so op is the locus of point p in this condition in this case okay now let us go to example 3 now example 3 let a point p moves in a plane such that its distance from a fixed point c is always equal to r r is greater than 0 just repeat it let a point p moves in a plane such that its distance from a fixed point c is always equal to r and r is greater than 0 that means obviously all the positions of the moving point p will lie on the circumference of a circle with center as c and radius as r understand a point p 
bee moves in such a condition that it is always at an equal distance from the center. This is the point P. Suppose here is the point P. This moves in such a condition that it is always at a distance R from this C. Suppose it is here, the distance R is same. Here, the distance always R. Here, here is the distance R. Anywhere it is on the circumference of the circle, the distance from center C to that point is always R. So, the locus of this point P is nothing but the circumference of this circle, this circle. Isn't it? You can understand again. Let a point P moves in a plane such that its distance from a fixed point C is always equal to R. Obviously, all the positions of the moving point P will lie on the circumference of a circle with center C and it is R. What is given in the figure? You can make the point P here. Suppose as position, this position is um, suppose P1, then this distance is again R this here. P1C. Suppose this is at a point here, you can call it P2. This distance from this center C to here, P2 is again R. This is R, this is R. So, locus is this circumference. You can understand the question with the figure. Okay.